How's it going everybody? It's here on from Van Dyke. Today I'm gonna be hosting the first episode of the Van Dyke Lab. If you guys don't know what the show is about, it's where we here on the show we also experiment with tackle it and educate you everything you need to know to be a best fresh water angler. I hope you enjoy it. The intro starts now. So the topic of this video of the Van Dyke Lab is skipping lures. We have been gone through a phase where we hated skipping lures. We didn't think it was necessary, skipping through those tight spots in dock skipping. We thought it was impossible. But when I was by myself, I was fishing by myself and I tried dock skipping with one of my lures for the baitcaster. It was actually really easy. So. I'm gonna be showing you how to dock skip lures with a spitting rod or a bait caster. So I'm gonna be showing you how, how to do it. But uh, I'm, let's start with the bait caster. So, but, but first, actually, let's start with the lures. You need a lure that can have a small shape, like a flat shape to be ex exact. Like this jig, it's flat. It has the flat head or a spoon. Like, what Van Dyke's using, he's using a spoon. Uh, like, yeah, he's using a pike lure spoon. But, there are some lures that you can't dock skip with lures. I'm just gonna say dock skip, because I'm used to saying dock skip, but... Can you skip with a crankbait? No! Can you skip with a Texas rig finesse worm? Yes! Can you skip with a, a, liz a lizard? Hmm, no! Don't skip a lizard! But, I'm gonna be teaching you how to dock skip with a bait caster. Dock skipping with bait castles are really hard. Can you dock skip with a frog? Probably. I'll probably do that for you. But um, what do I like the rod selection? I like to use a six foot medium heavy bass action rod. This is my quantum and bait combo. This combo is actually really good for dock skipping. And the I also have the quantum and bait reel, but the line that I have is uh. 14 pound or 8 pound st stealth braid and I'm going to be using this jig and I'm going to be showing you how to dock skip with jigs and then I'm going to and then we're going to be showing you how to dock skip with a spinning rod but uh let's get to the video okay guys we're back from a little break so we're going to be starting how to dock skip with spoon with a pike lures but with the easiest rod to use for dock skipping, it's spinning rods. The Bass Pros say, like, you need a bait caster to dock skip. That is not true. You can use anything you want, um, besides a push button. Besides a push button. Uh, I, I gone through a phase catching with this push button, and it sucked. You, I don't know, it just, like, got backlash on the inside of the frame. But we're just going to start with the spinning rod. So Van Dyke is going to be using the spinning rod. Mono Sienna, compared to 500 FD. Okay, so what do you want to do, Van Dyke? Is you have to like aim at the water. So, and that's the lure he's using. He's using a pike lure. So I'm gonna be going down here. So what you want to do for the spinning rods? You have to like cast like closer to the water and like gently like do a roll cast. Beautiful. As you can tell, dock skipping is really hard with spoons. Ah. Alright, try again. Can we do it for you? Oh no, I already got it. You did? Yeah. Last cast I got it. Okay. Face back yourself. Okay, just pause the video. 
All right, guys, since we're back, since we're back after the, now you guys know how to dock skip with a spinning rod. But now it's time to dock skip with a jig and with a bait caster. I'll we'll also be doing, we'll also be doing a, a jig, how to fish with a jig, cause uh, fishing with jigs are really hard, but we're gonna get through the hard part is the, it's the dock skipping part. All right, so what you wanna do for the bait caster is you always gotta do the same roll cast what you gotta do. So uh, Van Dyke, you mind holding the camera? All right, guys. So, um, what you gonna do? What you wanna start out with is the roll cast. Which I, you, you always gotta like do the roll cast and like gently like lift the rod up. So the rod skip. Always gotta do that. And then you got yourself a perfect dock skip. But what you want the brakes, the setting of your bait cast to be on. I like to put it on like five and a half. But you always gotta keep your thumb on. Since this thing has the magnet brakes, you don't have to thumb it. But I would like to, I would like to apply pressure for the bait caster so it doesn't want, so it doesn't burn it. So like I said, always start with the roll cast. Start with the basics, just the roll cast. And now it's time for the dog skin. So it takes some time to do it, but it's really well, as you can see, you go pretty tight. Right. Sheesh! on the water on the Van Dyke Lab. 